it's time to sing. Whenever you're ready. But yeah. <laughs> No quería hacer esto, fuck. Siempre me equivoco con la rotación cuando traigo la. A la tipa esta. Ah, pero los mató, ¿no? Sí, creo que los mató para lanzarlos al agua. Bro. Maldito lanzaguisantes. ¿Qué flores tan agresivas? This little monster is known as a whopper flower. Hmm. Strange. These petals look interesting. The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the whopper flower for too long. The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Let's collect what we can of these petals. Well, that's nice and all, but will those petals be useful for the rite of parting? Unfortunately, no. Ugh, that's so lame. Excuse me. Are you searching for glaze lilies? Oh, hey, it's... What's your face? Uh... Pyman can't remember. Saludos, Ganyu. Hello, traveler. I'm surprised you still remember my name. Ah, oh, that reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chamber? Well, it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. Didn't I tell you the way? Surely I did. Nope. We found the way on our own. Supongo que fue nuestra culpa por no preguntar. Oh, I see. Uh-oh. I guess I really did forget to tell them. Huh. Something seems a little off about Ganyu. She's acting different from the first time we met. Where's her serious attitude now? Ah, oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. Now, I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? <sighs> Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled through those lonely gardens now, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Whenever my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Oh, sorry. We shouldn't have brought it up. No, it's quite all right. I just haven't processed my emotions yet. When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the Seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But five of those original Seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. It's truly a changing of the guard. Eso significa que? Yes. Now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, only Barbados of Mondstadt remains of the first seven. Mm. The other five, including Inazuma's Raiden Shogun, are no longer the same friends from 2,000 years ago. Of the current seven Archons, the youngest is Sumeru's God of Dendro. He is merely 500 years old, whereas Rex Lapis was more than 6,000 years old at the time of his passing. This means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. So what do you think of this... farewell? Huh? This... This is a little sudden. I... As a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. But as an adeptus... I think I will eventually come to grips with reality. Since Rex Lapis has passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and Adepti has now reached its end. Adeptus? Huh? Did you just say, as an Adeptus? Yes, I... I am a mix of human and Chilean. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. I fought for what? Rex Lapis and the city of Liyue during the Archon oh. War. Que por eso tiene cuernos. After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. 
I've continued those duties to this very day. Ahora entiendo por qué te olvidas de contarnos las cosas. Well, uh, let's save that conversation for another day. You say that you are here looking for glaze lilies? I also know where wild glaze lilies can be found. See, I've just picked one myself. Here, you may have it if you wish. <laughs> We dare not refuse it. Oh, so did you sing a song before you picked the lily? Indeed, I did. I know this tradition well. In fact, I sang a local Liyue ballad to it. Wow, so you really know your stuff too. Thanks, Ganyu. No, it is you who I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for our ancient lord. If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Good luck. And that just about does it. Our preparations for the rite of parting are mostly finished. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting end to our tasks, in more ways than one. Chong Li debería abrir su propia floristería. Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him starting a business in Liyue. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first, and requires no small amount of effort. And once business is at full steam, the stress of it all only wears away at you over time. So you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. If left unchecked, The wear and tear on your heart may go well past mending. Wow. See? Shanghui sounds like he's already seen it all. All right. I think it's about time we head back to Liyue Harbor now. Huh? What happened? The city gate is swarming with Milleleth and... Buffetui? Ah, you're the consultant to Wongsheng Funeral Parlor. Mr. Zhongli, I presume. The Millilith are watching our every move now. These are desperate times. We mustn't act rashly. Desperate times? The Adepti of Joyun Karst are finally on the move. Do they intend to exercise force? Most likely. I've heard that some members of the Qixing have already gone to meet them. Well, I say meet, but it's more like they're attempting to stall the Adepti outside the city. However, both sides were quite obstinate and hit an impasse. It seems inevitable, given the current situation. The Adepti do not acknowledge the Qixing. They only acknowledge the contracts of the Geo Archon. If the two sides come to blows, Liyue Harbor will be in no position to stop them. Surely the Liyue Qixing are not the sort to give in so easily. <laughs> Their boneheadedness is known throughout the lands. Yet it's because of that obstinacy that mortals and Adepti are now on the verge of conflict. And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under fire? Ah, <sighs> that's all Ningguang's doing. She proclaimed that in these tumultuous times, the Millilith must rein in the actions of the Fatui. Only now do they want to start keeping tabs on us? <laughs> that's the Qixing for you. Anyway, Mr. Zhongli, you're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone catch you off guard. It looks like things are about to boil over in Liyue Harbor. No podemos quedarnos de brazos cruzados. Do you intend to use your neutral identity as an intermediary between both sides? Or will you use your sword to turn the balance? La espada. Neither path is an easy one. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli, we've heard that the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has also been caught up in all of this. They're currently squaring off with the authorities at the gates. Things are taking a turn for the worse. I'm afraid I must leave now to handle things back at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. I hope that Master Hu has been able to keep things under control for the moment. Consider your next course of action carefully, Traveler. If you're trying to prevent an explosion, it may be wisest to look for the fuse first. <sighs> Having connections with the Fatui seems to be quite the double-edged sword. So what does Zhang Li mean by looking for the fuse? El chico rico que pagó todo por nosotros hasta ahora. Ven conmigo. Vale, ya arreglaron esto. Antes sí, no, estoy mal. Ni siquiera estaba esta casa de acá ni las escaleras. Creo que estaba solo el lago. Y creo que ni siquiera se podía entrar acá. 
Porque no te dejaba la, la esta cosa. Creo que estoy por acá incluso. Vamos, no, no, no me acuerdo sinceramente que esto estuviera acá, pero bueno. Impressive enough from the outside, but who would have guessed that it was even fancier on the inside? This is where all of Tabat's Mora is minted, right? In that case, maybe they won't notice if a few more go missing. Si fuera tan fácil, habrán vaciado este lugar hace mucho tiempo. Oh, so it's a trap! Tricky, tricky. Good thing Simon's got you here. <laughs> But even if we can't take any, we can still have a closer look, right? Or better yet, take a nap on top of a mountain of Mora. It's like a dream come true. Tengo un extraño presentimiento sobre este lugar. Oh, right. Back to business. It's quiet. Too quiet. Surely someone's got to be guarding something as important as the Exuvia. Huh? Look. What happened here? Parecen haber perdido el conocimiento. Uh -oh. You've already fulfilled your task as guides, so why do you still linger here? Haven't you already seen enough trouble for today? Huh? Who's there? Ah, <sighs> if you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross, and you're in my way. Veo que llegaste justo en el momento indicado. <laughs> Although I'm deeply grateful to you that I was able to effortlessly find this secret location. Don't you think that trying to stop me now would just be wasted effort? Stopping the more immense, hiding away the Exuvia. <laughs> the Chising are really pulling out all the stops this time. So you've been planning to take the Gnosis from inside the Exuvia all along? <laughs> As one of the 11 Fatui Harbingers. It's my duty to see the will of the Tsaritsa fulfilled. She will get that which she desires. No la permitiré. <laughs> I'm not asking for your blessing, and there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that stage to begin with. But I'm willing to do as the Tsaritsa deems fit. Either way, we now come to my favorite part. A simple pleasure, and one that I am oh so delighted to be sharing with you. The battle. Battle? So you're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> When Signora offended the deities outside the cathedral in Mondstadt, she swiftly left the scene once her mission was accomplished. Instead of confronting you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. She wouldn't want the knights to come running towards the sound of battle now, would she? When she faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the outcomes, and consider the consequences of her actions. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. We won't let what happened in Mondstadt ever happen again! Oh, so you intend to fight me? Good. I won't kill you, Traveler. I'll just play along, to feel the thrill of battle. Besides, you could never defeat me, not even in your wildest dreams. But hey, try to relish the fight anyway, because if you ask me, without that, what else is there? Que nunca podré vencerte. Eso ya lo veremos, child. <laughs> Fighting talk, I love it. Now let's see you live up to it. This chance is hard to come by, so show me all you've got. So very few ever get the chance to square off with a Fatui Harbinger. So come now, amuse me, and don't you dare disappoint. Vale. Te vas por la mitad de la vida, hijo. How 
Ojalá tuviera estas habilidades. Hombre, la verdad es que la ulti Que hubiera sido este cambio de estado al A Electro O sea, que cambiara de, de elemento Dios santo, hubiera sido muy épico Swordsmanship is quite impressive, but that's about as far as you'll get. Oh, los dos elementos a la vez, ¿no? Didn't think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. Oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected. Well then, I'll be taking Morax's gnosis now. Oh. <laughs> I see. Oh. Well, this is most unexpected. You, you Oh, ya se la robaron lol. Oh, nunca la tuvo porque nunca fue re Rex Lapis Porque es Papi Chongli Tartaglia Te voy a reventar, pero tú lo sabes, todos lo sabemos. Hay muchísimos bugs con el audio, pero muchísimos. ¿En serio? ¿Pero qué es esta hitbox tan asquerosa? Pero al menos es fácil de... Fácil de esquivar. ¿En serio? <ríe> ¿Pero qué onda con estos combos? Vale, ya muere, asqueroso. Ahí está. Off. It seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great for my body. I lacked the opportunity to think this through. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. You had no connection to the Gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. That's what we've been trying to tell you. We didn't take it. Your show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? Es porque estamos restaurando mi poder original. <laughs> porque estamos reuniendo los poderes de los siete elementos. You already know the answer, don't you? 
I can see it in your eyes. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. Pretty sure that's not the normal way to make friends. Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. In fact, it might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion no, of sorts. It's obvious. What? So you mean that... Rex Lapis todavía vive? Yes, it appears so. Interesting to say the least. It's Chongli. It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce <laughs> is also well versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of contracts. As such, we must now look to our backup plan. Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this. I absolutely detest working with those who are weaker than I. The truth is, the world belongs to those of us who desire to become strong. I seldom willingly mingle with any dull and boring weaklings who think otherwise. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometime. So what are you planning to do? I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. A god? Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the G.R. Archon in the Archon War and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the Geo Archon's stone spears ever since. If such an ancient god would be unleashed upon Liu Harbor, defenseless without the protection of its deity, do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and mm -hmm. watch the ensuing destruction? But the Archon War ended 2,000 years ago! How could an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Hey, oh. Those are sigils of permission. Mira, estos no están tan Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. No solo eso, estás tratando de duplicarlo. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me, but knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more intriguing. <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Nia, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. Chamber. 
Paimon thought you were arguing with the Chi-Sing. Is the fighting over? Faced with the calamity of such magnitude, we have agreed to put our differences aside for now and unite against this common enemy. <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it. So how do you plan to defend Leela? Eh, just seeing this overlord of the Vortex guy puts a pit in Paimon's tummy. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyu Harbor. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? No. <sighs> So will the power of the Chi-Sing, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... not necessarily. What? Wait, all of you are supposed to be the Guardians of Lilith! Can't you think of something? One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is he. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet it would take one but a little tinkering to turn this Ballista into an. <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to man it. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. Yep. Dios mío, cómo han mejorado las misiones eh, de, de, Teniendo en cuenta las de Mondstadt eh. Vale Está súper interesante Eso sí, los bichos están nerfeados A propósito Para que les pegues un montón Sí Esto sí no me gusta tanto, pero bueno Pero sí ha mejorado muchísimo, muchísimo. Se puede que llegarán acá, ¿no? Sí. ¿Podrían disparar, por favor? LOL LOL Lo que quitó Me hubiera insta matado si hubiera venido con una composición de piro Bueno y... ¡Oh! La verga lo que quita No me puedo quedar quieto ahora <ríe> Al fin están usando mecánicas buenas No, se pusieron ya el electo, qué pereza. No, 
¡Oh, me jodas! ¡Quita demasiado! Y el otro los curó. ¡Puta madre! Me la van a reventar. Es que no, no tengo cómo reventar estos elementos. Vale, nos bufiaron entonces. O sea que está hecho para que... Para que sea así. Vale, no está mal. No, quitos. Están reventando esa de allá. Vale, menos mal que no se dedican a pegarle uno solo. Esto no los arrastra, por supuesto. De ayer me lo imaginaba. Mi pregunta es, ¿podrás perder esto? ¿O está hecho a propósito para que... Oh. Ok. Le falta dificultad la misión, le falta. Pero bueno, no está mal. Ok Tengo cooldown rebajado Daño aumentado El crítico también me lo mejoraron <risa> La verdad es que comienza a, can a cansar Porque Como que tiene mucho tiempo No sé, no sé, no sé no, O sea, está muy bien Infini O sea, infinitamente mejor que las menciones de Mondstadt Pero Me sigue faltando aún algo No sé exactamente el que es Pero sigue faltando Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler. Lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future.
The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the Sigil of Permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the Overlord of the Vortex can make any waves again. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which we came. Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then-limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, it was only the size of a small room, but with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liu Qixing. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liu means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue. Three Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time. Immovable as stone, just as it was thousands of years before. This is truly no small feat. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Hmm. I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. Ha! <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream? I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Each passing generation of the Qi Sing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Qi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world, establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as trade. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. Oh, Ningguang! Todos estamos en la misma posición ahora. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? En el momento en que hay discordia entre los protectores y los protegidos, la armonía se vuelve difícil de restaurar. Right, that's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the four winds and the people of the Animal Archon. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both and that nothing good would come of it. Esto es lo que aprendimos en la capital de la libertad. Each of the seven nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity, as Adepti we've become a laughing stock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so why not see for yourselves? I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I have come to extend my thanks to the Adepti. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. 
Although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. Hmm. Hmm. Why does everyone look so down? Didn't we just beat that big monster? <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. Everyone was there. When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun toys and tasty snacks and, and loads of things that make the harbor so pretty. Thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Please come visit us for the next Lantern Rite. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Huh? Because we are Adepti. Oh, okay. It must be hard being an Adeptus. You see, this is what Liyue is like today. The country of contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection, but it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. The time of contracts between gods and Liyue has long since passed, now is the time of contracts between Liyue and its people. Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Wouldn't you say so, Cloud Retainer? Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition to Liyue Harbor. Hmm. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. Finalmente están tratando de entender el corazón de la gente. <laughs> <risa> ah, lo siento por estar tan callado, pero es que no hay, no hay nada que, que comentar, la verdad. Está, está, está bien la historia, ya está. Yes, one understands what the conqueror of demons means. The city of Leo has changed much after our long separation. One fears that by the time one finally grasps the new contracts of Leo. You humans would have once again changed the place beyond recognition. Fair enough. <sighs> Since we Adepti have consensus, then one shall persist no further. But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply exploit their power once we depart? In my view, that is still a thing to be guarded against. <laughs> All right, Mooncarver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the people of Liyue. <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. All swear <laughs> as well, huh? Tú lo has dicho, Paimon. Oh, right. It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Child wanted to unleash the god so he could lure Rex Lapis out. But we were able to handle the Overlord of the Vortex on our own. So Rex Lapis never showed up. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of that Archon's death, too? Nos van a contar las cosas. Hyman doesn't get it. But isn't the strongest lead we have the Adeptilus Rite of Parting that we're organizing? No idea where Zhang Li's going. De verdad que si no nos cuentan las, las cosas me voy a enojar. Porque la, la gracia de todo es encontrar al arconte y demás. I'm afraid that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor isn't in the best state to receive guests. We've come to see Zhang Li. Could you please tell him we're here? Unfortunately, Zhang Li isn't here at the moment. It seems he went to Northland Bank. Doesn't the Northland Bank belong to the Fatui? Last time we saw Zhang Li was before we went to the Golden House. Do you think he doesn't know about the attack on Liyue? Visiting the Fatui at a time like this could only mean more trouble. We had better go and make sure that everything is okay. You call this cooperation between Harbingers? Cooperation involves communication, you know. <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. Besides, 
Aren't you happy that you got to skip the formalities and bring chaos to the land? I'm sure you must have enjoyed that. Oh, it seems that some of your friends have arrived. Hey, it's Zhang Li and Child. And you, you're also one of the Harbingers? Let's ignore that. <laughs> it's you two. I believe we've met once before. In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. Ah, right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from your friend. Todavía puedo recuperarlo. No, don't let her get to you. You've yet to gather the powers of all seven elements and our last bat, so it might be best to keep things peaceful this time, seeing that two of the harbingers are here. Well, if it isn't you two. This is our first time seeing each other since Liyue was nearly wiped off the map. This is certainly a bit awkward. Hmm. Paimon knew that we should never have trusted a Fatui harbinger. Oh, now don't say that. Sure, I may have misled you, but I never had anything against you personally. Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? Except for that little tussle we had at the end. <laughs> Nothing personal. We just have different views, that's all. Of course, you may very well hold this against me, but that's up to you. The real deceivers here are Senora and Zhang Li. Curse them for leading me on. Shail fue engañado por Zhang Li. ¿Qué está pasando aquí? So actually, I think. Stop wasting time, child. There'll be plenty of time to chat once I'm through here. You remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind. The Gnosis, please. Oh, si quiera dar contento, obvio. Que acuerdo. What in the world are you talking about? The contract is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee. How sanctimonious. Justo como pensaba. What? So you're the Lord of Chio? No, wait. That's an exciting twist and all, but why give the Gnosis to the Fatui? I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract. For it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. ¿Y por qué fingiste tu muerte? Gathering all the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes, and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over. That's what he wanted to see, am I right? Wait, what? Perhaps it's best that I explain. As you know, I've dwelt upon this world for more than 6,000 years. I witnessed the founding of Liyue, together with the Adepti 3,700 years ago. Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. Until one drizzly day, as I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers, You finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, Have I already finished my duties? Oh, Zhang Li. But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remained to not hastily depart. Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, already prepared to enter its next age? I did, so I feigned my own death, and gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Liyue Chising to play their roles together on the stage that was Liyue. Pero y si todo hubiera terminado con en desastre, tenías otro plan. That's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. Vale. So you mean that if the chaos ever reached the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Lilith back? Of course. 
And it would have been all too easy for him, too. Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Liu matured when faced with the death of its deity. I was pleasantly surprised with the finale of the show that you all put on. Why, you even deserved an encore. The Adepti deserve the greatest applause, considering their years of seclusion. They hardly recognized the city, yet faced with such a crisis, they exerted the greatest amount of restraint. And hats off to the emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract, Signora. She managed to keep everything she knew in strict confidence, far from the eavesdropping ears of her colleague child. All the while, I carried on as Zhongli, and fulfilled the traditions of Liu in this mortal form. Th these things were all a part of my script. The only unforeseen plot twist was the conduct of the Liu Achising. I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti. They seized the opportunity to supplant Liu as divine protectors, and used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death. Huh? That doesn't sound good at all! Ha! <laughs> On the contrary. I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. Hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for <laughs> deceiving me? You practically kept me in the dark! <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. Wreaking havoc and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance, if anything. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, a Depti, and a god, the lump of coal resting in the hands of the Geo Archon, Liu, would never have been able to become a dazzling diamond of a city. Huh? Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? Are you itching for a fight? Vergüenza me daría estar en tu posición. Hey, haven't you learned the Liu is saying? Don't always call it as you see it. <laughs> well then, with the Gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such idle chatter. We should return to Zapolyarni Palace and seek an audience with Her Majesty, the Saritza. Come, child. Ah, fine. I'll meet you there later. I'm not sharing a boat with the likes of you. <laughs> Do as you wish. Now then, is there anything else you wish to ask me? ¿Qué precio podría pagarse a cambio de un Genosis? Right. As Zhang Li Genosis, Genosis, us, no sé trade is a fair trade. Paimon has no idea what could be a good trade for a Gnosis. Realistically speaking, there is no such thing. Huh? However, I am the god of contracts. For thousands of years, I have made countless contracts. My agreement with the Cryo Archon will be the last of my contracts as the Geo Archon. My contract to end all contracts. As for the bargaining chip that the Tsaritsa used to balance the scales, uncover that answer for yourself in your future journeys. One of the clauses of our contract was not to divulge any of its contents. Ugh, you're so petty. Paimon can't so young. One of the. Ugh. Hay algo que no me disgusta un poco y es el hecho de que se supone que vinimos por el arconte para el hermano. Entonces, ¿qué onda? ¿Qué onda con eso? Well, since we're going through with this rite of parting, I guess it means that those rumors hit the nail on the head. So Rex Lapis is really... <sighs> but they didn't catch the culprit, did they? Oh, come on. Do you think that the assassin could have been a normal person? You know what I think. 
I don't think any of the gossip on the streets you hear from those shady types is worth anything. There's only one real possibility in my mind. I've heard that the assassin was that Fatui fellow. Youngish, pretty high in rank. I think they called him child. Sigo sin entender por qué en la traducción en español es nobil en vez de child. The Fatui. Es que no tiene sentido. Hmm. They certainly are very suspicious. Who knows what those greedy, crooked folks. Shh, lower your voice. If the Fatui catch you in their. You know that god from the ocean couldn't have just shown up out of nowhere. I mean, it's been 2,000 years since Rex Lapis. Yes, and to think that this happened right on the heels of the incident with Rex Lapis, too. Say, do you think the person who assassinated our Lord and released that evil god might have been one and the same? Now that you mention it, that's very possible. Yes, it's very possible in... I mean, it all fits together. That person must have colluded with the evil god to harm Rex Lapis. Still, what sort of supernatural prowess must this person possess to be able to do such things? Ah, forget it. Guessing's no use to us. Look, the Millilith over there looks like he's about to make an announcement. Ay, ay, no me convence del todo la misión. Está mejor que la de Mondstadt, sin lugar a duda, pero... No sé, no, no me convence. The Chi Sing's words. Though a dragon soars ageless as the mountains, it too, gods and adepti live glorious lives, but both light and shadow have their season. Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Having been thwarted in his trial, Rex Lapis's soul has recouped the celestial heights. He beseeches the people of Lyra to grieve not and to let not their hearts be saddened. Nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge in baseless speculation. Uh, um, Daimon needs a translation on what the Chi Sing's announcement said. Dijeron que Rex Lapis fue juzgado. Uh, so that's how they're spinning it. Something feels off. Why would they suddenly give up looking for the murderer? Could the Chi Sing already have known that Rex Lapis wasn't dead? Hmm. Did Zhang Li tell them in secret after his gnosis changed hands? Creo que esta vez has dado con el blanco, Paimon. Exactly, right? Ooh. Look, it's Ningguang and Kuching. Are they saying something? Are their speeches over? As said previously. Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. 3,700 years. We, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous, but blind. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking among us. Hmm. Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say farewell. Will you stand with us as we reestablish our contracts? As we build a new age of prosperity. So concludes the words of Her Eminence the Tianquan. Does Her Eminence the Yuhang have anything to add? Huh? Is she looking this way? Traveler. Yikes! She really is looking our way! Is that the traveler who they say defeated the ancient god? So young! The Liu Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far, and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve that much. Whoa! Well, could you help me put up some missing person posters? <laughs> ¿Por qué no colocan diálogos del personaje en todo lado? ¿Por qué? <risa> ay, ay. And to think I'd put my best perfume on before coming here thinking you'd like it. But it seems as if those perfumes really were meant to be offered to Rex Lapis. Well, that's fine. Suffer no rivals in love, oh. they say. Oh. And that's three oh. gone in one stroke. <risa> Al menos esto no fue una pérdida de tiempo. 
Rex Lapis. Oh, Rex Lapis. Hmm. Now that I think about it, if everyone's of the same mind as me, perhaps mementos for Rex Lapis might be the best short-term business opportunity. Mm. Supongo que ninguna, ¿no? Roping you in was possibly the most masterful move we could have made. I believe that future generations will say so too when our deeds come up for their review. Busca Chongli. <laughs> Why would I not feel more at ease after laying down the burden I have borne for 3,700 years? Right. If the two of you can spare the time, I should treat you to a meal at the Shinya kiosk. <laughs> that sounds like big talk, Zhongli. Paimon might have believed you if you were treating us to some third round knockout. But you'd have to pay out your nose just to stand inside Shinyue Kiosk. Are you sure you can afford it? Hmm. You're right. I do like the Mora. ¿Cómo es posible que Morax no tenga ni un Mora? <laughs> As the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily create Mora. But since I have chosen to walk this earth as the mortal Zhongli, I should abide by the same rules that mortals do. When I was journeying with you, though I still had the Gnosis in hand, I knew that I must soon retire from my role as an Archon. So I had to... rehearse a little. For oh, no wonder! Paimon gets it now. You didn't look at the price tags when we were spending because you've never had to. Era obvio de que lo conocimos, Paimon. But since you weren't used to not being able to just make more Mora as and when you wanted to, you had to try becoming a parasite <laughs> to society who lives off of other people's credit. Well, we were only spending for Tui money. You don't have to say that. <laughs> In the city of commerce, we do not merely exchange money or goods. We also exchange knowledge, memories and foresight. As well as positions, roles, and lives, the Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhongli could, no matter how many times he descended to be with his people. <laughs> I must thank you for that. I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhongli, traveling the streets of Liyue with you. Fue un buen viaje. That is true. But there is no journey that does not end. No meetings without partings. Hmm. Paimon thinks that we should make a move and continue our search for the Seven. I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea in Azuma is presently closed. ¿Quién es el dios que gobierna in Azuma? The Electro Archon Ball. And just as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inazuma. Um, Paimon thinks we've heard that one before. Uh... Raiden. Raiden? That is the case. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of the Inazuma Bakufu, people call her the Raiden Shogun. The Bakufu de Inazuma. Though people at the wharf were saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense, Paimon doesn't remember that always being the case. It wasn't that bad last year. Zhongli, since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about what's happening there? Just how did Inazuma become a closed nation? It's because of visions. Visions? When faced with circumstances beyond their control, Humans often bemoan their lack of power. But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, the god this is what visions are. Magical foci 
bestowed upon those who have been acknowledged by the gods. Uh-huh. That's how people in Tevet see it. But starting from last year, the Raiden Shogun began promulgating the what? Vision Hunt Decree. Vision Hunt Decree? Yes. It was an order to seize all visions within Inazuma's borders, and to inlay them upon the hands of a statue of the Thousand-Armed Hundred-Eyed God. They want to seize visions? But why? Aren't visions blessings from the gods? I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings. Whoa, that's harsh. The Animo Archon is the god of freedom, and the Geo Archon is the god of contracts. For her part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. The fact that even I, the oldest of the seven, have now passed away, will only strengthen her resolve to pursue eternity. Knowing her, she must have again quoted that adage she is most fond of when proclaiming that decree to her people. Seven ideals for seven gods, and of these, eternity is nearest unto heaven. Heaven. All right then. Was there anything else you wish to know? ¿Qué hay de ese juicio? <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Failing a divine trial. How they came up with that excuse, I will. That said. The reason why the Chi-Sing were so eager to resolve the incident and stop pursuing the culprit was indeed because they received news in secret that Rex Lapis was not dead. I hinted as much to the Adepti as well. How did I accomplish that, you ask? Hmm. Uh, have you ever ah, heard of this particularly convenient cool. Adepti art known as gifting dreams and visions? <laughs> All right then. Was there anything else you wish to know? ¿Qué pasó con Child? Yeah, about that. Before the Chising made their announcement, we listened to a lot of people talking on the way. Most of them put the blame for everything on Child. These are indeed false accusations. But it remains undeniably true that Child did send people to the Jade Chamber to prevent the Adepti and the Chising from defeating the ancient god. I've heard that Ningguang is busy milking that for all it's worth on the foreign relations front at the moment, browbeating the envoys of the Fatui. Ha! <sighs> Those poor Snezhnayan diplomats. If it were not for Child's exalted position as a harbinger, I'm certain that they would have shifted all the blame to him and called for his dismissal by now. All right then. Was there anything else you wish to know? ¿Qué hay de las siete estrellas del Yue? The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liu Chising don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? Kuching is absolutely right in saying this. Now, though I did laud Ningguang's desire for power, believing this to be a good thing, and thought as a matter of course that she must have been behind the Chising's plan to take governing power over Liu from the... Could the original person who brought up the idea of seizing power have been... Hmm. All right then. Was there anything else you wish to know? Sobre el mora. That's right. Zhongli, now that you don't have your gnosis, what's going to happen to all the mora in Tibet? Since Morax is dead, are they all just going to disappear? Also, isn't the Golden House the only mint in the entire continent? Will it even continue to work? The mora present now will not vanish. But the Golden House will indeed have to cease operations for a lengthy period of time, since creating Mora requires the use of the Geo Archon's power. This is terrible! We're all about to run out of Mora! The world is coming to an end! Yes, this is indeed a major issue from a financial standpoint. Uh, well, I suppose we'll just leave such troublesome matters to the Liu Chising to debate. Oh, a private fund. Hmm. This does seem like a good logical common sense idea. <sighs> it's a shame. What's a shame? <laughs> it's a shame that I didn't think of it at the time. 
Bueno, es todo por ahora. Well then. I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this closed nation. Have patience. I suspect that some serendipity must first come into play. No va a haber animación. No. No la va a ver. Y la de Chase ya está acá para hacerla. Mm, es que había una animación con farolas y eso en la noche. Se veía bien bonita. Pero supongo que no la va a ver, ¿no? Bueno, acá hay algunas misiones secundarias, pero nada del otro mundo. Pues nada, gente. Lo iremos dejando por acá porque creo que Chonley no tiene... No, no tiene nada más que decir. Ah, a ver, ¿qué puedo decir? No, le, no comenté mucho el video porque es que... Aparte que estaba medio interesante algunas partes, otras no era como muy me... No sé, no sé. Definitivamente fue mi mejor misión que la de Storm Terror, sin lugar a dudas. Pero... Me sigue faltando. Igual acá nos contaron un montón de lore, lo cual agradezco. Tanto así como la de Venti. Muchísimo, muchísimo lore nos, nos comentaron, nos resolvieron varias dudas. Pero veníamos por el hermano y veníamos a preguntarle al Arconte Geo que qué onda con el hermano. Y eso no lo vimos. <ríe> es lo que me molesta. Pero bueno. Espero que les haya gustado. Y nos vemos en el siguiente. Chao, chao.